Panama has long been known as a centre for offshore banking, most of it legal. But a haul of documents from the law firm Mossack Fonseca allegedly shows how the rich and powerful can launder dirty money or avoid millions in tax. Among those implicated are more than 70 current or former heads of state and people close to them, including Vladimir Putin, whose close friends are named in an offshore network funneling millions around the world. Cousins of President Assad of Syria accused of getting around international sanctions and secret offshore companies linked to the family of the former Libyan dictator Colonel Gaddafi. The significance of what we've seen today is the sheer scale of the global system whereby the richest people on earth can avoid paying any tax. So they'll set up a system of front companies so that they can hide their money away from the tax man. The Prime Minister of Iceland is named as owning an offshore company holding assets from Icelandic banks. This is what happened when he was asked about it on Swedish television. But he says he's done nothing wrong. Closer to home, David Cameron's late father appears in the documents. He set up a Panama-based investment fund, but he broke no laws doing so. It's also reported there are six members of the House of Lords and three former Conservative MPs in the documents. Embarrassing for the Prime Minister, who's made this one of his campaigns. I'm going to push for international agreements to fight the scourge of tax evasion and aggressive tax avoidance. Today, Mossack Fonseca, the firm whose documents have been leaked, insisted it had done nothing wrong. But it did say it was limited in its ability to regulate the companies it had helped set up. Meanwhile, Revenue and Customs here have said HMRC can confirm we've already received a great deal of information on offshore companies, including in Panama, from a wide range of sources, which is currently the subject of intensive investigation. Our message is clear. There are no safe havens for tax evaders, and no one should be in any doubt that the days of hiding money offshore are gone. In Panama and elsewhere, it's probably a bit early to be quite so confident.